let it let it go. Just let it go. How? How you, how you want me to let it go? If the love was real, it should be easy just to let it go. If the love was real, you wouldn't have cheated on me in the first place. I had a moment of weakness. I didn't know what was going on. But I do know that it's over. Yeah, how can you be so sure? Because I am. That's why you need to let it go. You know, Michael, what if I cheated on you? You don't do that. Why not? You want to sleep with somebody else to make this even? Oh boy, don't play with me. You know I'm not the one. I'm not. Kofi. Look at me. Look at me. I'm looking. Do you remember when we first met? I was at the gym jamming to my music. And I had just got off the bench press and I got up too fast. And I knocked over your smoothie. Mm -hmm. You was pissed. Very. But I always thought blue was a sexy color on you. And I was so sorry. And I tried to wipe it over my shirt. And then I looked up and I asked you your name and you said, Who was asking? asking? Yep. It was in that moment. I knew I had to get to know you. And we've been together ever since. And I bought you three pairs of the same sneakers. None of that matters. None of it. And do you honestly believe that things can just go back to the way they were now? Yes. All you gotta do is just let it go. Let it go. Just like you let two years of our relationship go? Am I not allowed to make a mistake? A mistake? A mistake? Michael, sleeping with a woman is not a mistake. And what really breaks my heart about this is that I care for you. I really do. But I've never been put in a situation where the man that I love, the man that I have sex with, the man that my parents adore, will find it in himself to cheat on me. What the hell happened to communication, Michael? What happened to loyalty? What the fuck happened with us? Nothing. Nothing? So you just want me to pretend that this never happened? Just let it go? <laughs> Lay next to you knowing that you're probably thinking about somebody else? I don't know. You want me to support you. And lift you up. Knowing you're probably doing the same thing for another person. Like, come on, Michael, come on! This is me! What the hell is wrong with you? I was supposed to be your best friend. How could you do this to us? Kofi, I've always had thoughts that I, I just didn't understand. And at times, it made me question who I thought I was. And then you never thought that it would be safe for you to come and talk to me about it? It never crossed your mind that my love for you was real enough to hold you, to cover you, to protect you, to try to understand you. No, you didn't. That's what hurts me the most. So what do you want me to do? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not even worried about you right now, honestly. I, I'm, I gotta figure out where to place my feelings. Coffee, what are you saying? I'm saying... I'm saying that I wish you the best. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying I care about you. And the moments that we had, the laughter, the memories, they'll never fade. But the love, the love, I have 
to let it go. So, Coco, you telling me you still don't love Alex? What? Where's that coming from? Answer the question. How did you even know I was at the hotel with Michelle anyway? Does it matter? No, it doesn't. The fact is, you were in the hotel room with a woman. I can't even compete with her. I don't even want to compete with her. Can't. What? Are you still fucking Alex? No. Michael, Alex is my friend. <laughs> a friend that's your ex. And even with me having a problem with y'all hanging out, you ain't give a fuck about that. And you still hung out with him. Listen, Michael. Alex is my friend. Who actually gives a shit about me. Which is more than I can say for you right now. You know what? You stupid. Excuse me. Because Alex Cunningham, the man you call your friend, the one who put you through hell, the one who didn't give a fuck about you, the one who strung you along until he was done. Hey, yeah, Alex, the hoe of Atlanta. You know what? You were so eager to be in love <laughs> that you let that man do whatever he wanted. And now you got your dumb ass out here chasing after me. Newsflash, nigga. You were out in the streets cheating on me. So yeah, I'm glad I checked up on your ass. And Alex never did no shit like this. He never cheated on me. Yeah, he put me through some shit. But he never did this. I was in love with the wrong man then. Like I'm in love with the wrong one now. Kofi, you do not mean that. Because if you did, you wouldn't be sitting here talking to me right now. Mm -hmm. We done been through some real stuff. Too much stuff to just let this go. Look, look. Let's just try counseling. Kofi, you know you like to run away from hard work. Baby, don't run from me. I'm not. I'm not running from you and fuck counseling. So you telling me you never wanted to sleep with anybody else? Never? Even if I said yes, the fact of the matter is I have it. Kofi, I asked you about threesomes and you told me no. Yes. Because when I'm in a relationship, I don't need anyone else in the mix. And you and I are both versatile. So why in the hell would we bring anybody else in here? I don't know what to say. Because there's nothing to say. Yeah, it is. Oh yeah? What? What you gotta say? Kofi, I slept with Alice. You did what? Huh? When? Two years before we got together? No. Michael. When did you and Alex sleep together? Three months ago. Three months ago, huh? Tell me you lying, Michael. Tell me you lying, Michael. Michael, tell me you lying. I'm not. I I Alex isn't good for you. Alex isn't good for me? What about you? You the whole Atlanta shit, it fits. Well, I swear, if I didn't respect your mother, I would beat your fucking ass. Kofi, you know you can't beat me. Look, Kofi. I tried to make this work. I asked you to work with me, but you don't want to listen. You're too busy worried about the next Instagram post that you neglected your own relationship. That's not true. You neglected your man. That's not true. You know what? You need to stop pointing the finger and take a look in the mirror because you ain't perfect, bruh. And I'm tired of being relationship goals on social media. I miss the man that I fell in love with. The man that was giving, caring, and suck my dick on the regular. Watch your mouth. We ain't having sex no more, bruh. I'm a man. I got needs. Okay, Michael. Cool. You know what? You're right. You're always right. I don't know how you were able to put up with me up until then, but thank God you were. And since I'm the fucking problem, and I'm the fucking issue, I'll be more than happy to resolve it for you. You can be with Alex. You can be with Michelle. Birds of a fucking feather. Kofi. Shut up. Save it. I don't want to hear shit. 
Why do you always have to be such a drama queen? Excuse me? You always let the little gay in you come out at the wrong moment. When are you just gonna let it go and be a man? Right now. You want me to let it go? How about I let your ass go? The fuck out of my.